Welcome to day two. Uh, today, uh, first of all, I want to briefly review on how to access the library website. Here are we on the Texas State homepage. And uh, you could just click here on library. And here in the library, you can access the catalog. You can access databases and we'll uh, look at others later. I Yesterday, I didn't find the citation style guides. And I wonder actually if they are under guides here, but I found them under the menu. You go to services, then you go to teaching and learning, then research and instruction. And you scroll down and here you have writing and citation style guides. If this was too fast, um, one more time from the library homepage, click on menu, click on services, click on teaching and learning, click on research and instruction, and scroll down. Of course, um, if uh, things go too fast here, uh, you can always pause the video. In fact, you should pause the video frequently to actually do what I'm doing. And I know this is difficult uh, because you want to look at the screen of this video and also do it uh, at the same time. So uh, do pause the video and um, do with me what I'm doing because it will help you later on in your assignments. Anyways, uh, if we click on citation style guides, um, you get to these writing and citation style guides. Um, let me just check if uh, the video is recording. Yes, it is. Okay, so here are we are on this side of the citation style guides. You should use the style guide that is required for your major. Music education majors use APA style, uh, musicology and music theory student or music history and music theory students use Chicago style. Torabian is a, a short guide based on Chicago style. Uh, all others uh, can choose any style guide. Um, that is, or you should uh, um, inquire regarding your major. If you're a performance major or composition major, uh, there is no common style guide. But if you want to do some research, let's say musicological, music theoretical research in the future, you may just as well get used to Chicago style. Or if you want to uh, pursue some music pedagogical research, um, uh, music educational research, then you should use APA style guide. So for the purpose of this course, uh, you can choose, um, but choose the one that is for your area. So if you if you click on one of these, then uh, you have links to the actual manual online, um, or actually this is the print manual, uh, but there are some online guides. I prefer the one from Purdue OWL. Uh, they just did a really good job on uh, putting together these style guides. So this is their website. You scroll down here and you can see, um, you, you can actually choose different kind of style guides here. Um, and so here we are in the APA style guide. So if you want to look up how to list a book in uh, in the reference list. That means in the bibliography, just click on books, a reference list books, and it will give you the structure here. Author name, the first and middle name, uh, they are abbreviated, year of publication is in parentheses, the period comes after that. The title of the work is um, in italics. So there's a colon between the main title and the subtitle, if there is a subtitle. And then there's a publisher name. So in, in APA style, you do not list 
the city. Uh, however, if you are in Chicago style, you would list the city. But let's stick with APA style for just a little longer. Uh, look at a couple other examples. What is what are common? So uh, articles in periodicals are very common. So how to list those? Um, oh, by the way, besides the structure, you also find real examples and sometimes easier to actually look at real examples. So here we have a journal article, or an article in a periodical. Periodical simply means uh, it is something that is periodical, be periodically published. Uh, so you have the author last name, comma, first uh, initial, then the year in parentheses, then the title of the article, which is not in quotation marks. In Chicago style, it's in quotation marks. In APA style, it is not. Uh, the title of the journal is in italics, followed by a comma. The comma is not in italics. Uh, actually, the comma is in italics also, and the volume number is in italics, uh, followed by parentheses, the issue number, and para closing parentheses, not in italics, comma, inclusive page numbers. Um, this hyph uh, this is actually not a hyphen, this is a, an n dash, um, so that's a little longer dash. In fact, um, I may just as well uh, explain this right now. There are three kinds of hyphens. Uh, this is the regular hyphen, uh, but in Word, if you actually type something uh, with spaces before and after the hyphen and then hit the space bar, then you have an autocorrect that makes the hyphen a little longer. Um, and so you can see if you compare them, the in the second line, the hyphen is a little longer. It's not called a hyphen, it's an n dash. It's an n dash because it's just as long as an n. Now, if you were to type a word, uh, and type in, uh, have a hyphen, type another word, and hit the space bar, the autocorrect function in Word uh, would normally change that into an M dash, uh, maybe a double, uh, a double hyphen would change that. Right. Um, now you can access all of those also directly. I'll show you in a second. This is called an M dash because it's just as long as an M. So the name is M dash. Um, this is called an N dash. And this is a hyphen. I didn't really want to uh, have this indented here. So M dash, N dash, and hyphen. So uh, why is it important? Um, because you use them uh, under different situations. At least in APA style, if you have inclusive page numbers, that means starting page and ending page of an article, you use the N dash and not the regular hyphen. You do not use the M dash. Anyways, um, you can also uh, look up um, chapters in books. We actually looked at the book structure earlier. Uh, sometimes we have an edited book. So then you have the editor name with ED standing for editor publication, uh, year of publication, then the title and publisher. So the only difference here with an end between an edited book and an authored book is the appearance of this ED. If there are more than one editor, you have EDS as editors, as in plural. Um, here you have a few other uh, possibilities. You can look at those yourself, but I want to look at article or chapter in a book, uh, in an edited book. So you have one or more authors, uh, then the year of publication, then the title of the chapter. 
or article, whatever you call it, then a period, then you say in, and then the editor's names, sometimes there's just one, and then it's just ed, comma, title of the work in italics, then not in italics is pp, both are lowercase, standing for pages, plural. Do not abbreviate page with pg, that's not an appropriate uh, abbreviation, so pp, period, um, and then the inclusive page numbers uh, from two, and then the publisher name. Uh, so anyways, if you want to look up something similar in Chicago style uh, at the uh, at Purdue Owl University, uh, you can also get uh, there through our Texas State website just the same way. So we look at the same materials, a book. Uh, now you have to understand the difference between listing a book in a node, like in a footnote, or in a bibliography. So right now we are worried about bibliography. Uh, the main difference between APA style and Chicago style is that you write the first names of authors. You write them out in full, however they appear on the book. And then the book title in italics, period. Then you have the city in which the publisher is located, colon, uh, space, and then the publisher's name, comma, and the year. Now, if you use author date citations, this year would actually appear after the name, like, I don't know if there's an example of that. Um, I will show you examples of this later, so we'll actually deal with with those later. Now let's look at how an article out of a book, uh, the chapter in a book, in an edited book, um, would look like. Uh, here this is how the B, uh, B means bibliography, that means how it would be listed in a bibliography. The author of the article, last name, comma, first name, the title of the article, in quotation marks, then the word in, and then starting with italics, the title of the book, comma, edited by, and then the editor's name. Sometimes there are several, you can list several, then comma, and then there are inclusive page numbers from two on the pages that in that this article appears in the book. Uh, you notice that this uh, is actually a regular hyphen in Chicago style. So not an N dash, it's a hyphen. Uh, then the city, colon, publisher, comma, and the year. Uh, and finally, let's briefly look at how to list an article in periodicals in Chicago style uh, here under B in, as in bibliography, last name, comma, first name, that's the author of the article, the title of the article in quotation marks, a period, the period in American style appears inside the quotation, then the uh, title of the journal in uh, italics, the volume number, comma, number, for as issue number. Sometimes it's also volume hyphen issue number without the NO that is acceptable as well. Uh, then in parentheses, the year, and then inclusive page numbers. That is with a regular hyphen, not the N dash as in APA style. Anyways, one of your tasks for today is to go through uh, the uh, uh, citation style guide of your choice and to look at those in, in detail and I really mean detail pay attention to where the commas are whether there is a hyphen or an end dash uh, where the quotation marks are where the periods are and so on every detail counts and is very important um, and uh, so look up um, other materials that I didn't show you today, uh, such as recordings uh, or um, yeah, how to cite liner notes, for example, how to cite a score. And if you can't find it here in this Purdue OWL guide or in any other guide, so, so you may simply Google uh, how 
to cite a music score in APA style. And you will find here how to cite sheet music in APA. And it will give you some examples. Um, so you can simply Google. Uh, good. So back to our library page with those citation style guides. Um, and this was the home of those citation style guides. Um, on the uh, PDF page, I include also the direct link to this. You may want to uh, link um, uh, bookmark, uh, bookmark your link, um, bookmark this link so you can frequently visit that page whenever you work on a bibliography. Anyways, this is my cheat sheet, uh, which will become your daily assignment. I uh, just want to see what I want to do. I wanted to remind you uh, that we visited the library catalog yesterday. Uh, and library catalogs contains books, uh, CDs, mistyped, uh, LPs, DVDs, scores, and tire journals. Library catalogs do not contain or index chapters of books or articles in journals. For those, we need databases. And yesterday, if we go back to the library homepage, I already showed you uh, here this link to databases. And I showed you the link to music, in which all the most important databases on uh, related to music are listed. Uh, you visited already um, Oxford Music Online. Uh, and I want to show you Realm. Uh, today specifically. Uh, Realm was one of the first, well the second actually, after Music Index. Um, uh, Realm was uh, the second, um, it um, established in 1967, the second database to index music literature. And it is the most important one because it not only indexes what is printed in journals, it means in periodicals, but also what is inside books, like in edited books. So if you click on this, you will have to authenticate uh, with your Texas State username and password. And then you're in the realm here. This is your searching in the realm database. This is important because EBSCOhost is the environment and it contains many other databases which you could in fact switch to. Um, but right now we want to restrict our searches to Realm. Uh, so if we were looking for uh, some topic like music perception of songs, um, and you will get search results. Whenever you have many search results, you may want to uh, refine your keyword search. Uh, so now I just want to show you this in general. One of your tasks will be to uh, actually search more uh, in the realm today and look for some, um, some interesting uh, publications that uh, that you would be interested in. Anyways, uh, if I go into one of those uh, records, then you should always look at what document type this is. So this is an article, article in a periodical. So this is actually a journal article. You're the authors. The title is up here in bold, big, and big letters. Um, and uh, you have an abstract here. We'll get back to that. The source is very important. That's the name of the journal. So this journal is called Psychomusicology, colon, Music, Mind, and Brain. Very often also only referred to as Psychomusicology. It's a very famous journal. You have the volume number and the issue number. 
uh, the month, the year, and the inclusive page numbers. That basically is all the information you need to list this article in a periodical, uh, in, in a bibliography, this, to list this periodical article in a bibliography. Now, on the right side here, you will see there is a site function. You can feel free to use this, but I want to caution you because frequently those site functions make mistakes. Uh, for example, um, okay, so here in Chicago style, uh, you could just copy this, go to a Word file, I'll open a new file, and simply paste it in. Um, let me uh, do this differently. Um, and I will explain this another day. No, maybe I should explain this now. If you paste, if you copy and paste from a database, you may actually uh, copy uh, layout things like this gray background here. And it sometimes is very difficult to get rid of. So in Word, there is a function called special paste um, or paste special. So if you just paste, you have this gray background here. Uh, so, but if you uh, do special paste, then you can say unformat text, and it gets rid gets rid of all of those formatting uh, things. Now, um, one thing you will already notice here is that it lists a link. Uh, to this database. And nowadays, um, style guides do recommend listing a link to the database. However, if you look at this goes through libproxy.txdata.edu, that means this link is only good for anybody uh, actually has access to this database through the Texas State Library. It will be an unusable link to anybody else outside of Texas State. And I recommend not including any of such links. I would simply delete it, especially since this is actually a print journal. Um, now, since I used the special paste, it also got rid of um, italicizations. So I have to redo the italicization of the journal title. I should change the n dash to a regular hyphen. Um, I uh, um, uh, prefer prefer to list volume hyphen issue number, but the parentheses is fine too. Uh, you need to double check all the other details. Uh, now you will notice, and this is correct, uh, the first named author is listed last name, comma, first name, and middle initial, if there is one, comma, then the word end, and then the second author with first name, last name. Uh, so that means only the first listed author is listed as last name, because we italicize that in a bibliography. Um, so this is uh, this listing, uh, the year, uh, here is only if you use author date references. Uh, you can do this for now, or you can include the year. Uh, after the volume and issue number. Uh, and so what the difference between an author data reference is and um, a regular bibliographic listing, I will uh, say another day for now you can do it either way uh, but this was this would be a correct listing um, as compared to how we grabbed it from the database okay I want to show you one other thing uh, I want to show you a chapter in a book um, because um, uh, there is a problem there is a, the the information in the realm is incomplete so I'm actually uh, will limit my search results to books only now there could be entire books and some could be chapters in a book 
Um, and let me see if I find one of those. Um, probably this looks like a chapter in a book. So very important is you look at the document type. This says article in a collection of essays. A collection of essays is an edited book. And that means it has the book has an editor, but this is an article inside the book, a chapter inside the book. This is the author of this article, uh, but uh, the book title is actually this. Song and Signification, Studies in Music Semiotics. Now, if it says here pages 64 through 74, those are the inclusive page numbers of this particular book. Now, we just looked at um, the how to cite a chapter in a book, and you may have, you may remember that uh, we need information um, that is not listed here. One is the editor's names, and the other one is the publisher. Now, it could be that the, the university in this case is the publisher, but we won't know for sure. The good thing is, and for today you can do this, for tomorrow I will uh, have a, another suggestion, uh, you link to this item. That means you actually go uh, to this book, but um, you either open this in a new window or new tab, or you take all the information from this particular article, uh, for example, through the site function, but with the understanding that this is not yet complete. Um, and again, uh, this time I will not even grab the link. Uh, for the reasons that I explained earlier, because it requires an authentication through Texas State and it's of no use for anybody else. Um, so now, this is the article author, this is the year, uh, if you do author date uh, references, uh, if not, the year goes after the publisher, followed by a period, in, this is the title of the book, this is inclusive page numbers with the um, with a regular hyphen, not an n dash. Uh, this is the city, and this is the publisher. Uh, I assume, but we will double check. Now we we will double check the publisher, and we need the editor of the book. In um, here in Realm, you will not find the editor of the book in the listing of the chapter. So you have to go to the entire book. So if you click on link to this item after the book title, then it should get you to the record in the realm that lists the entire book. And internet is a little bit slow. In the meantime, I will check how long I've talked for a very long time, so I need to uh, finish this. Let me look at my cheat sheet. Yeah, so your your task will also be, it's written in your document, uh, to find several types of documents in Realm. So do some searches in Realm. And I do not know why this is not loading. I'm just trying to reload this page. And although it's very colorful, I do not like this little spinning wheel because it usually means something is wrong. Um, but uh, let me go back to this particular chapter in a book. What I can also do is, uh, so I think my my browser is actually down. What I can also do is grab the title of this book, 
and do simply a Google search or go to Amazon search for this particular book um, the Google searches will help you tomorrow I will uh, tell you uh, you can also go to WorldCat but I want to say more about WorldCat and it would be too long but you will have to find the editor of this book and you also have to double check that the name uh, of this publisher is actually correct that the university in this case functioned as the publisher so you can do that by simply looking up the entire book um, and then you would have to edit your entry so let's say that's all for today uh, I want you to um, follow the PDF file what to do today um, please pay attention to the details of the reference guide uh, and when you list bibliographic items or items in a bibliography um, be uh, very detail oriented uh, with regard to punctuation with regard to italicization and so on those are the most common type of mistakes so uh, email me if you have any questions um, so the uh, yesterday in the video I said uh, submit your bibliography or whatever your, your daily assignment uh, via canvas but actually I want to change that uh, submit your daily assigned assignments via email to me uh, just a personal email to me uh, that will be better and faster I will see immediately that you submitted it uh, unless the file is very large but for today it will not be uh, maybe once you give a presentation do a video we have to do it differently but for the time being let's submit all assignments via email to me okay have a wonderful day and um, I will see you tomorrow in the next video bye